We're back again with some more custom ordered wallets. These are special pieces that our customers have specced out. If you're interested in a custom wallet, just send your dream idea to our email address, info at ashlandleather.com. My brother, Matt, should be able to help you out. And the best thing to send us is your dream wallet. Take a look at some of the made to order videos here on YouTube. Maybe take a look at the private stock, find a color and wallet style that you like, and we can take a look through our stock to see if there's anything available. Before we get to this really beautiful hand-stitched Johnny the Fox, I did want to mention that we've got some special deals up on the sale page of our website, ashlandleather.com. Pretty significant deals on irregular belts. Those are the most we've ever discounted them. We also have some irregular wallets up there, as well as some Tanner's Blend conditioner. We put a limited amount up for 30% off. So check it out over there on the sale page. All right, let's start off with this Johnny the Fox, beautiful piece of marble Chell Cordovan. And this is marbled ultraviolet Chell Cordovan. The way that marble Chell Cordovan is produced is they layer on several layers of stain coats, in this case, the ultraviolet color, and then they slowly scrape it away in a somewhat linear fashion. So you get these sort of streaks of color that range from a lighter, more like a natural shell cordovan color for the light sections to darker, more ultraviolet colors. You'll notice on the outside of this, we have a bold, chunky thread. And this is a hand-stitched Johnny the Fox with a purple hand-stitching. Here's a look at the inside. This blew me away. More marble shell cordovan on the interior. And we've got a lot of great custom-ordered wallets to look at today. Some really special things, including this Capone money clip. This is made in the football leather. We did a special event at the beginning of the NFL season with two different colors of football. Now this color here is a little bit more red, but this is actually how the leather is sent to Wilson before they produce all the football. So believe it or not, football leather does not start off brown. It seems like most people prefer the brown, but me personally, I prefer the red shade here, the actual classic color. We've got a little bit of additional color on the edges to match the red football and more football on the interior. Up next is a really special Tony the Ant. This is two variations on Shell Cordovan in one. Tumbled marbled Shell Cordovan. You can see that range of color, sort of like on the Giant of the Fox we looked at, with those lighter tones that range to a little bit of a darker tone. I believe this is tumbled marbled black Shell Cordovan that tends to range a little bit more green and tan. And then in addition to the marbling, the tannery has also tumbled this in a steam heated drum to give it a little bit extra texture. And as a fun side effect, the leather's also opened up a little bit, so it has a really nice velvety feel. The other thing I like about the tumble shell cordovan is because those fibers have been opened up a bit, they tend to develop a little bit more of a dramatic patina. Here's another great funky piece of leather, reverse shell cordovan this time on our Traveler Passport holder. It kind of looks like our Fat Herbie wallet, except we extended the length on the top about a quarter inch taller to more easily accommodate a passport in this larger section here on the inside right. Now this leather is reverse black shell cordovan with epic dye splatter. I mentioned the reverse side of black shell cordovan tends to be a little bit more green, same with the tumbled, and that's because the black dyes that Horween uses to stain the inside of the bill slide here, they're actually a green tinted black. So all of the excess dye is a little bit green. And I love when we get to see this random dye splatter. We call it the epic splatter. Here's a look at the inside. We have more epic splatter. And here's yet another one with some epic splatter. This is reverse ultraviolet, I believe. And we've got these really cool linear drip marks that are more of like a violet sort of pinkish purple color and really great effect going right across the center back of this wallet. We've got this sitting on top of some green shell cordovan it looks like in the center. This one has also been hand stitched with a bit of a bold, more chunky thread along the outside. This is not something that we do normally, so it has to be special ordered. And on the inside, we've got some, some funky things going on. This is the Ashland stamp that is vertically aligned. We normally don't put that one here. And then we have the Horween shell cordovan ink stamp in the gold foil up on the top left, we also have two colors of hand stitching. You can see the pea green stitching across the center with that contrasting more burgundy color along the outside. Up next is a variation on the fat Herbie. This is the tall Herbie. This is a bill slot on the outside that extends all the way to the top. Some people like the version uh, that you see here without the thumb notch because you can see full bits of grain on the interior. You get a consistent look of grain or shell cordovan all throughout the interior as well as the exterior. Normally with the thumb notch in the back, we have to flip this middle piece around, which leaves this center section, sometimes the reverse direction. That's what I like about the tall versions of both the Fat Herbie 
as well as the Tony the Ant, as you get a clean, consistent look. And I forgot to mention the star of the show here is the leather. This is the brand new Shrunken Bison Leather from Horween. It's a product that they make called Yellowstone, and we have it on this wallet in two different colors. On the outside, this is the brown Yellowstone, and on the inside, this is the blue. We've got a ton more stuff to look at with rare shell cordovan colors. Here's cigar shell cordovan, 100% cigar shell cordovan on a Johnny the Fox. And I love this brown shade. It's very true brown, which is much different than the classic color number eight shell cordovan, which is a little bit more red and burgundy to it. Some of our customers really prefer more of a traditional straight up brown, and that's what Cigar is great at. Here's a look at the interior. It's very difficult for us to find naturally thin pieces of leather for the inside of the Johnny the Fox. So we have to be a little bit more patient and select thinner pieces of shell cordovan for all these layers of leather. And we have some fun Capone money clips. This first one is a dark green shell cordovan, it looks like, with a personalization on it. We also have dark green shell cordovan on the interior with some of the measuring machine stamp on the left. I actually really like how this one turned out. It's almost like a minimal Capone money clip. I believe this is color number eight shell cordovan. You might be able to see a little bit of those reddish burgundy undertones to this leather. The big difference between the normal Capone money clip and this one is we do not have any exterior card holders. So it's a little bit of a thinner piece here. And we do still have that spring bar money clip on the interior center. And here's the fun one, epic black shell Corvin. See these little streaks in the texture of that shell? That's what we call the epic texture and they're not very common. So sometimes we've put them into our private sock pieces. It seems like people have appreciated those and they'll see wallets in the private sock videos and say, hey, I want something like that, but in black. And that's exactly how this Capone has come about. We also have hand-stained black edges on this one, which I think look great. And we also have some hand-glazed reverse black shell cordovan on, on the interior with epic die splatter. And in addition to that, we have a black spring bar money clip. This is a really great looking Capone. Up next is our Vic Snap Wallet. This is the color number eight Dublin. It's the same color as the color eight shell cordovan, just translated over to steer hide leather. So we still have that dark brown burgundy shade. You might be able to see some of these like burnt cherry undertones as I flex the leather, We're really just mobilizing the wax and revealing some of the undertones right there. It's the same color that you should see on the back side of the leather here. We'll slide in a bunch more stuff. Let's see what we got up first here. This is a Bugs Moran with the vertical card slots on the interior, alternating blue cypress and English tan Dublin with a gold foil baby Ashland stamp. On the outside of this one, we have two quick access card slots and the same alternating colors. We've got the Royal Blue Cypress on English Tan Dublin. And here's the oldest leather we have. This is 1940s calfskin in the blonde color. Check out the striations in this leather. Super interesting for this Bugs Moran. We'll flip it on the inside to see the vertical card slots on the interior of this. Really great texture, those striations again on the interior. And on this Bugs Moran, we have one additional card slot on the back. Now the 1940s calfskin is pretty tough to get. There's only a little bit of it left and we do, I think we have all that remains in the world. Again, this is leather that was tanned in the 1940s by Horween Leather Company and they were never able to figure out how to make it again. They're slowly starting to sell it off over the last decade or so. And once this is gone, it's actually gone, so we'll never see it again. This is our Traveler Passport Holder. Again, just like our Fat Herbie, except we've designed it to be a little bit taller to fit your passport on the inside right. But we do have that bill slot on the outside. Up next is a hand-stitched Bugs Moran. I took a peek at this one earlier. I was actually having a hard time figuring out what color this is. It's kind of like a combo between color four and like garnet. I'm really not certain what uh, this customer ordered. Maybe it's a special piece that I'm not familiar with. Either way, this one is beautiful and it has a really nice cream color hand stitching along the outside and more of that same color on the interior. Not sure what this is, kind of looks like a darker color four, but with some more vibrance, really beautiful. Up next is another Bugs Moran with vertical card slots. Great, prominent Horween ink stamp right in the center. On the outside of this one, we have a quick access card slot and let's look through some wallets that don't fold. <laughs> this is a Frank the Enforcer in that same color, a Dublin. Our normal Frank the Enforcer has one, two card slots on the front, 
one card slot on the back with a thumb notch, and then a larger card slot in the center. This will fit US dollars folded in half. And here's a variation on that same Frank the Enforcer. Same idea on the front, except this one we call the five slot Frank because we have two on the back, two on the front, and then one larger one in the center. Beautiful hand stained black edges on this five slot Frank. And here's another Frank the Enforcer. This is intense blue shell cordovan, I believe. Much darker than the denim blue shell cordovan. In some light scenarios, this can appear a little bit black, but let's compare it to the black right here. You might be able to see just how different it is uh, when you compare it side by side. And here's a fun two-shot card case. I believe this is Western Natural Shell Cordovan on Dark Green Shell Cordovan. We've got a couple small accessories and one more special wallet before we end the video here. Another Color 8 Dublin piece. This is our vault key holder in color number 8 Dublin. If you're not familiar with this guy, we have two screw posts on the left and right. These will hold three keys each. And then we have some lighters. We have the blue cypress lighter and lighter sheath, and then two football leather sheets. I think these were also ordered when we did that football event at the beginning of the NFL season. And last but not least, it's a special wallet. We have a wallet here called the JR Fold. And it's kind of a funky wallet design. I'm noticing it's pretty hard for me to take photos of this guy. And I probably should pre-crease this and form it for how it's supposed to be. Um, I haven't really figured out a great way to do that just yet, but let me explain this wallet. We have one big piece of leather in the back with this stitched on little flap in the front. The idea is that you put your cash in the back here and then your cards in the center here. And then as this leather is folded and put in your pocket, the leather will form and mold around everything inside. So it's a very, very minimalist wallet that was designed by Arnold Horween Jr. I believe he was the third generation owner of Horween Leather Company. He designed this back in the 70s, and we thought it'd be a fun idea to pay homage to him by making this JR Fold. Um, we only do it for special events and made-to-order uh, events just like this one today. So thanks so much for checking out everything in the video. I'm going to come back to this first one here. Absolute stunner with marbled ultraviolet shell cordovan, hand-stitched, 100% marbled shell, this is a really special Johnny the Fox here, and, and thank you so much, whoever picked this one up. Again, if you want to pick up something special for yourself, if you want to send us your dream wallet to info at ashlandleather.com, we can give you some options, maybe a price and time estimate. Right now, we're sort of looking at four to six weeks, which you could expect to be a little bit of a higher lead time as we get closer to the holidays here. So if you're looking for something, it might, might be a good time to look into it right now. All right, until next time, hope you have a good one, and take care.